Now that you understand your competitors' backlinks, rankings, and traffic, it's time to actually take action on that information and maximize links for your own SEO campaigns to manually build links for these, the content that you just published. What you can do is really, once you have found those authoritative sites that have do follow backlinks, you can really manually reach out to them by email to pitch your latest blog post or product. To give you an example of this, I'm going to come into one of the do follow backlinks that I've found here. I'm going to see where my competitor was referenced here. And you can see in this article here that they have uh, really a list of resources right down the bottom. So I could find out the contact information for the author of this blog. I can take a little bit of digging to do, maybe through LinkedIn, through Twitter, contact them that way. But you could also say, hey, I came across your article with the title X and um, noticed you referenced this particular article. It's one of my favorites. I've also put together a checklist for new websites and SEO audience. Perhaps you want to reference that as well. And uh, that is potentially how you can easily add a backlink from a, a website that will do it. Uh, have a do follow link back to your website. So the one thing that I would say is that is a bit of a grind to do. You should expect maybe a 5% response rate from these cold emails. But even if you can get a couple of links, uh, five links out of 100 requests, those five links could really make the difference because they're do follow links from high authority sites. And that can really, really help you out. Another thing that you can do to maximize links for your SEO campaigns is search for existing non-linked content using these two tools here. So let me give you an example of this. I'm going to come to BuzzSumo. You can maybe type in the name of a brand or a company. You'd obviously do this for yourself, but as I'm just getting started, I don't have something to reference. Um, so let's just put in a local company here in Dublin here. And what I can see now are some of the articles where this business has been mentioned. And if I click this open, what I could see is that the company is referenced here, but there's actually no link back to their website. It'd be great to maybe reach out to this website owner and say, fantastic to have the uh, article there, delighted to have it but could you include a link back to our website from our brand name? And that'll help increase your authority, particularly because this website has a good domain authority as well, a very good domain authority. So that is another way that you can maximize links, and uh, not only for your SEO campaigns, but for your website in general. And essentially, you just want to contact the owner and ask them to kindly link back to you if possible. So you don't want to be too pushy, do not expect a huge response rate on this, but it's definitely worth doing this work because it's really an easy way to get backlinks to your website. So that is the process. In the next lecture, we're going to talk about the type of content that can really generate a lot of links and social shares.